Okay, uh, let's take a look at our pre-submitted question for today. And he's trying to make uh, some slideshow videos in Camtasia. I think it was for a memorial service or something like that. Not an untypical kind of video we might want to create. He's making some titles kind of zoom in for each slide, perhaps. And the problem that he's having is that the text, as it zooms in, is very jittery. Has anyone ever seen that issue before? Very jittery text kind of thing. Let's uh, go ahead and jump over to Camtasia, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So here, I just have some text, right? And this is simply a text box. And what he wants to do is he wants this to zoom in presumably, you know, with a slide or an image in the background. Okay, well, just to demonstrate it here, I'm not going to use any images or anything, but let's uh, take this text box to animate it. Let's put the playhead in somewhere, and let's drop us a keyframe. Shift-A drops a keyframe. You can animate this a couple of different ways. We can drop a keyframe, and then at the end point, uh, we'll just kind of increase the size, right? So you could do it that way, or on the callout portion here, you can actually scale it as well, right? So let's go back to here, and I'm going to stretch this out so that it's kind of a nice slow animation. And in fact, let's zoom in a little bit on the canvas and preview. Okay, and as you can hopefully see over the webinar, the thing is really jittery <laughs> as it animates text, especially if you do it slowly. What happens there is it's very noticeable. I'll let that kind of run a little bit again, right? So maybe someone has also run into this kind of a thing. Uh, let me show you a way that we can kind of get around that. I'm going to click on this animation and I'm going to delete it. And let's right click on our text call out here and let's group it. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the group. So let's drop another keyframe, let's stretch it out, move to the end, and then I'm just going to scale this guy up. Same net effect, right? So we're going to start from small text and then animate it up. But if you animate the group, it's going to be a lot smoother. In fact, it's going to be nice and smooth. And the upside that we get there, the plus, the other benefit, of course, is that once we group that text, we now have quick properties. So for my titles, my slow zooming titles, I can you know, do some other things like change the text. Okay. And in essence, then I have a reusable component that I can use for my slideshow, right? So that's just kind of a little tip that um, not a lot of people know about. And it can really kind of be frustrating if you're trying to animate text and it's all herky and jerky all over the place. <laughs> that's not good. I don't like that very much. Uh, any questions on that? How many of you didn't know that? Anybody didn't know that little trickeroo there? Okay, let's press onwards then. <laughs>